So I was changing the oil yesterday. Life was good, no problems. And then came in this morning to reset the service light. Notice the air was down on this back tire here, back driver's side. This might be the culprit. So, while I hadn't planned on this being a video, I'm gonna see if we can patch this up. So, obviously being at home makes it easier to have all these goodies on hand. First of all, the tubeless repair kit here. Got that at O'Reilly this morning when I was dumping off yesterday's oil, old oil. Got this to uh, rip the wheel off. Got this in case I can get a uh, Phillips head on that screw and get it out. This is my mobile pump. This is a torque wrench to get the wheels all, lugs all tightened up when we get them on again. And this is to get them off, the breaker bar and these little Mar free uh, sockets. It's a 19 mil, I want to say, for this. Yeah, 19 millimeters. So uh, we'll jack this side up, get this wheel off. We'll see if we can fix this bad boy. All right, so here's the offending item. Here's what comes in your kit. This is a cleaning slash extraction tool. This is a fork tool where we will insert one of these gooeys through there and slot it down into the tire. And then you can see how it's got this fork end where we're supposed to be able to rapidly yank this away, leave the patch in place. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this set with the gummy stuff because I want to be ready to do it without losing too much air. I don't think it really matters, but you know, good boy scout, ever ready. Nice and slimy. All right, this is gonna be the way to go. So, hammers in. Seemingly, we've got a grip on the underside and we have some movement starting. So I'm gonna get this ready to put in there. Hope we don't leave too monstrous of a hole. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Jeez. Mother of pearl. Could you be any longer? There it is. All right, defending article out. <clears throat> so we're gonna push this up and down a couple times to prep the radial and clean out that surface so then we can drop in our little licorice patch here. See how that goes. <clears throat> oh yeah! Windy! We're gonna yank this out. Let's see. See if it holds. Three, two, one. Nope. All right. This 
So this just got bound up, never made it through. So let's uh, start again here. All right, this might work better. I feel like last time it probably wasn't clean on the left and right side. It maybe this stuff had kind of bled over. It's, feel, it's very sticky. It's like a glue. And this side wasn't, uh, it was flatter. So maybe it's held together better this time. Here's hoping. All right. What do I say, take two? You can see that it seems to be going in better so far. <clears throat> Although now it seems to be doing the same thing. Give it a little twist. I don't know if I'm making things better or worse, but. All right, I'm not super optimistic. Anyone place any bets? Three, two, one. Hello. Well, it stayed in that time. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a knife, cut off this excess. Wonder if I got enough material in there. Looks okay, but this might be temporary. Definitely lost some air here. We're at 17 pounds right now, so I'll set this to, let's go 30. And keep your eyes on this part and see if we get this chewing gum piece pop out on this. All right, well, we'll help to get it for now. Patches right here, which I'm sure you can see that little protrusion. And yeah, it feels like a piece of chewing gum sitting on there. Like I said, uh, I don't think I'll autocross with on, that on there, but it might work, at least to get from A to B, but I'll keep an eye on those. Uh, those gauges. This is uh, this is a good reason why I at least keep my TPMS gauges on all the time on the car, because I likely wouldn't have noticed it right away like I did. So, well, that completes another quick, if not impromptu, project here in D-Ray's garage. Certainly hope that the air holds in this tire. I'm not going to bank on it for long term. Um, one thing, a piece of advice, I would definitely leave behind with you is get more material in. My hole is definitely a borderline size hole for this. Good luck with your projects. We'll see you on the next episode. Be memorable, be well.